gluten-free cornbread for your Thanksgiving Friendsgiving gathering. And I know what you're thinking. It's, it's corn. Cold. Of course it's gluten-free. But pretty much every recipe calls for all-purpose flour. So I'm swapping it out for cassava. There's cornmeal in there as well. Baking soda. And I'm adding in some sage. Egg. Coconut milk. And I'm using dates instead of sugar. I have a date caramel video coming out later. Whisked it together. Almost forgot the coconut oil. You need a little fat in there for some extra flavor, you know? Grease up your baking dish and pour in your batter. If you want to make it fancy, I'm going to throw some sage leaves on top. Hopefully they don't burn. And now this is going in the oven for 400 degrees at about 20 minutes. I was in the middle of trying to prep all these recipes for you. So I left mine in just a little longer and you can see it got a little I mean, toasty. Look, look at that thing. Bed. Ignore that backside. Nobody eats the ends anyway. It holds together well, nice and moist, a little salty, a little sweet. I mean, it's cornbread. Now I don't use butter, so you can drizzle a little bit of olive oil and some honey on top if that's your thing. Kind of tempted to try to make some French toast using this in the morning. I'll let you know how that goes. But in the meantime, check out some of the other Thanksgiving recipes I have that for you. Right.